Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts. It's Hopkinton Hillers Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardi, John Ritz on camera. And we have a great hockey game in store for you today. Medfield, eight wins, no losses, and four ties on the season. 20 points overall. The Hopkinton Hillers, nine wins, three losses, two ties, 20 points overall. Both teams heading to the postseason. And Eric, this should be a great game today. The last time these two teams met, it was a physical game. They played like they hated each other. I believe there was nine penalties in the first two periods. I think we're going to be in for a physical hockey game here today. Yep, a couple things going here is, uh, you know, the Hill is coming off a tough loss to their uh, rival, Ashland. And so they're going to be ready to come out and they're playing an undefeated midfield team. So that's uh, incentive right there to uh, pick it up a notch. They're going to have to play a full 45. And unfortunately, they're going to have to do it with one of their top three forwards. Brendan Hamlet's out with an in illness. So we'll have to uh, fill in for him and give an all-out effort here. And we've also added a second camera angle today, thanks to Joe Frackleton, who's our second cameraman. Right now, let's send it down to ice level for the player introductions and the national anthem. There you have it, your starting rotation and the national anthem. Let's go over the starters just in case you missed it. We'll start off with Medfield in net, Junior Cameron Gayunta. And he has certainly uh, minded the net well this season for Medfield. On defense, it's Mike Tyre and Mike Michonne. Your forwards, James Wilder, Jim Cosolito, and John Schofield for the undefeated Medfield Warriors. For the Hillers on defense, Andrew Gilbert, Cam Jarrett, Annette Dylan Brand. Your forwards, Sean Walsh, Kyle Rogers, and Steve Simos. As we are just about ready to get things started, 
And I'm sure this is a game that the Hillers have had marked on their schedule, especially since the tough loss they took over at Medfield's home, Pirelli Veterans Arena in Franklin, as the Warriors get started right off the bat. Mike Tyre gets a shot on net. Love a face-off on the Hillers' side. Sean Walsh stepping in for Hopkinton. Up against James Wilder. And I'm expecting a good back and forth battle here today, Eric. And I think the Hillers, they're going to need to get some good shots off uh, if they want to win in this game. The last few games, they've racked up a couple of wins, but it's taken them a while to put the puck in the net. Yeah, I think we'll just see you know, a lot of pucks in the net and forwards going for those rebounds. That's been their mantra. That's what they do the best at. Coming up the near side, Cazolitos. Walsh gets a stick on it. Warriors trying to establish control. James Wilder up the far side. Gets that one past Cam Jarrett. Into the corner it goes. Gilbert able to knock it around towards Kyle Rogers. Gilbert up behind the net. Goes up the far side boards. There's a shot deflected by Jarrett off the stick of Aiden Parker. Jarrett gets it up the near side to Rogers. Rogers flips it up to the neutral zone. Sam Palmer with the backhander. Now the pass over to the far side. Here comes the Warriors. There's a shot just over the glove of Dylan Brand, a freshman goalkeeper for the Hillers. He's had a tremendous season so far. Jammed up along the near side boards. And getting a stick on it there was Jake Weinstock. Now back ice, it's Aiden Parker. Top of the circle, there's a shot turned away by Gayunta. That was off the stick of Dan Kirk. Along the near side, that's that is uh, Phil Parker. Warriors trying to clear the zone. Here comes Parker. Racing in, there's a shot turned away off the stick of the captain, Sean McTavish. That guy's for the Hillers, it's Glyden. Pass up the far side of Aiden Walsh. Pass across by Vachon. Over to Schofield. Glyden. Trying to knock it up the far side boards. Will Quinlan gets a stick on it, and then it's quickly turned away. Along the far side, it's Tom McAuliffe. And here comes the Warriors. Along the near side boards, Cazolito. Cazolito is going to meet up with Sheamus. Perfect play of the body right there. Took him right out of the play. Along the near side corner, Quinlan racing in. Off the stick of Toko it goes. That guy's from Edfield, Aiden Parker. And now Sheamus gets the stick on it. And that's off the body of Mike Tyre. And now here comes the Hiller, Simos racing in. There's a shot and a glove save by Gayunta. Now early on, Tom, the midfield showing their speed and the Hillers are gonna have to be careful in their end. They're gonna have to make some quick passes, quick ups in order to break that speed down of, uh, of midfield. Walsh up against Wilder. Back to Glyden. Glyden was trying to get a shot off there. Now it's a race to the puck. Here comes Wilder. And he's turned away. Walsh backhands it up the far side. And racing in, there's a shot, and it's turned away by Brand. That was Wilder attempting the backhander. Here comes Simos. Simos flips it up and a little bit too high there. Pass over by Jared in front of the net, and that forces the cover up by Cameron Junta. Good play by Simos there, using the boards to his advantage, putting the puck around the defenseman and being able to utilize his speed to get a shot on. It looks like some rebounds from the goalie, Tom. If the uh, Hillers can get some shots on net and bodies out front, you get some tips. Dan Kirk up against Wilder there. There's a shot by Saperosius in front and a couple deflections there. And that goes along with uh, what you said about getting bodies in front of the net. As Kirk puts it around the end board. Weinstock is trying to get in on the action. He had one of those shots off a deflection. Along the near side, Lions. Pass over to the far side, and that'll draw the whistle. So both teams look like they're just feeling each other out now, trying to get a handle on it, and not trying to make uh, 
any two big glaring mistakes right now because uh, with the speed of both these teams, that's what they're going to do is going to capitalize on each other's mistakes. And pass. I'm going to call it back on the Hopkin and N. Over to the Hiller zone. Saparoshitz up against Karavin. Toko trying to race in there. Here comes Gilbert. Over to Toko, flips it up the boards. Toko meeting up with Casalito. Gilbert backhands it up the near side. And now racing in was McAuliffe. McAuliffe up behind the net over Quinlan, and he was looking for the shot there. Sheamus races in up the far side. Casalito up behind the net. Tom McAuliffe uh, is a player you're seeing more and more for the Hillers, Eric. Yeah, he's definitely got some skills here. And Hillers with a really good shift there. And you know, one way to break down the, the uh, speed of midfield is the crisp passes, and the Hillers are really sending that puck away in a hurry. That's how they're going to beat that, uh, that speed of midfield. Quick passes and moving the puck around out front. Face-off will be between Sean Walsh and James Wilder. Jameis gets the stick on it. There's Simos, jammed up along the near side corner. Now racing out is Walsh. Walsh was trying to knock it back to Sheamus there, but the Warriors have a break. Racing in, the shot, and there's a goal! James Wilder, 1-0 Medfield. 9.56 left to go in the first period. Yeah, tough break there, Walsh. It almost looked like he was getting a little hooked on the play there, trying to keep it in, and they were able to get that by the defenseman, get a two-on-one. Dan Kirk up against James Wilder. Pass the Lions. Now over towards Aiden Parker. Weinstock racing in. Sheamus chasing it down along the far side. Sheamus gets it over to Kirk. Here comes Kirk. And Kirk's diverted by Schofield. The body check there to take him off the puck. Backhander by Weinstock and a hard shot there from the neutral zone turned away by Brand off the stick of Jim Cozzolito. That was a great back check by Weinstock. Able to get underneath the stick of midfield player there and break that play up. That shot had some mustard on it. It did. Warriors controlling in the neutral zone. Here comes Schofield. Turned away by Brand. Saparoshitz to chase it down in the corner. And that shot turned away off the stick of Schofield. Saparosh is trying to get it out of that far side corner. He's jammed up with a couple Warriors. Walsh flips it up the near side over towards Rogers. And now with the puck, it's McTavish. Schofield. And for James Wilder, that was his fifth goal of the season. 11 points overall for the sophomore. The you know, Hills look pretty good after you know, just their lines with Hamlin out, and moving Rogers up. Uh, they're, they're filling right in nicely. Covered up there by Brand. Quickly closing in was Caravan. Well, I think you knew this game wasn't going to be an easy one. <laughs> no, you're playing a Division II team who's undefeated and a rival in your league. And that is just so impressive to do in the TVL. Be undefeated at this point in the season. Quinlan. Up the near side towards Toko. Behind the midfield net. Getting in on the action was McAuliffe. 
Turned around by Aiden Parker towards the far side. Bichon picks it up. Flipped up the boards by Gilbert. Hiller is making a change. Racing down is Aiden Parker, and he'll find Caravan. Now, Eric, uh, I wonder if the Hiller has maybe switched up their lines a little bit to uh, perhaps get some offensive momentum going with uh, the lack of goals they've been scoring as of late. Yeah, I mean, they've got the, the core people there, and they're lucky enough that they can move a lot of them around. These players have the skill that they can play different positions if need be. Dan Kirk goes up the near side towards Linestock. Schofield with the back pass over to Casalito. Now to Wilder, and he meets up with Kirk. And racing up the far side, Gilbert. Good check there by Vachon. Gilbert trying to turn it around, and there's a shot wide to the left. Goes Mike Tyre, the assistant captain. Jammed up along the near side. Look out of place. I feel like they would have just kept checking each other, uh, not realizing the puck was out of play. 7.07 <laughs> left to go in the first period. Medfield leading the Hillers one to nothing. It's James Wilder with the only goal of the game so far. And that one's out of play by Off the Stick Alliance. We'll have a face off at center ice. Walsh up against McTavish. On the near side, Lions. It's up towards Parker. Here comes Wilder. Or actually, that is uh, McTavish, rather. Turned away. On the far side it goes. Sheamus chasing it down. Not really a fan of the blue on blue uh, number wise for Medfield there. <laughs> Makes it a little tough. <laughs> you get a whistle here, icing. And the goal seems to have built a little momentum for Medfield here as they've got a little bit of edge in play when the puck stays in the surface here. A lot of bouncing pucks tonight. I feel like we haven't seen the uh, first line a whole lot for the Hillers so far. Cosolito is trying to get in there. McAuliffe racing up the far side. Now he's turned away by Cosolito. And now Quinlan trying to turn it back around. Racing up for Medfield is Fulstad. And we'll get the whistle for Icing. And both teams having trouble now connecting on their long passes with the four checks. Both teams there, the cause on the defense to try to get rid of it a little quicker and try to get a little further away and just start making some shorter passes. I'm just relieved to see there hasn't been as many penalties as the first time these two teams met, at least for right now. Here comes the Warriors, and there's a shot turned away by Brand, a secondary shot turned away. Great goaltending by Brand. Fuglestad was on the secondary shot. And on the first shot, I believe it was Casalito. No, that was uh, Paraki. On the far side it goes, but Kalf gets the stick on it. That's a big save there. You want to go down 2 nothing late in the period. Gilbert flips it up. I'll draw the whistle. 540 left to go in the first period. one nothing lead for Medfield, but it's been uh, some good back and forth action so far. Yeah. Hopkins right now has just got to go back to their basics, making the, uh, the nice short passes and their breakouts. Get some momentum going, get that puck in deep. Shot from the top of the circle, turned away by a defender. Off the stick of a shown. Show meets up with Kirk. And now racing in, it's Tyre. And there's a shot turned away by Brand. Biden gets the stick on it. And he's trying to flip it up the, towards Walsh. Brand ended up having to turn that one away as well. And there's another shot in front. And Brand making a couple huge saves there. Initial shot from Vachon, and then secondary shot from Tyre. The Hill is going to have to do a little bit better job clearing out for those rebounds in front. Kirk gets it over towards the near side. Trying to jam it out his wine stock. And right now just jammed along the near side corner. Finally, Kirk comes out with it. 
Kirk racing up the ice, and he'll get a long distance shot just a little wide to the left. On the far side corner, that was Freeman for the Warriors, and we'll get an icing. Uh, the Medfield jersey got to me again. That was Tyro on the far <laughs> side. Yeah, right now, Coach McPherson, he's just telling the players to settle down. They get a little too flustered in their end, just trying to make quick plays to get rid of it, and they're turning the puck over. They just want to make sure they make the right easy play, either off the boards or to their winger to get that puck, make sure they get it out of their zone. Rosalito with possession. Samos trying to steal it away. Flipped up out of play. And that was off the stick of Palmer. 4.30 left to go in the first period. And I think the official needs a new puck. Well, the Killers have played some pretty good hockey as of late. Well, they lost to Ashland this past Saturday, 3-2, to two, a tough loss to Ashland. They, before that, they were on a three-game winning streak, defeating Dover, Sherborne, Holliston, and Ann Norton. Along the near side, Schofield. Walsh trying to sneak it away. Sheamus gets a stick on it. Tracked down by Schofield. Pass over to the near side of Palmer. And now here comes the Warriors looking for a shot. Here is Wilder, and he'll flip that one out of play. Get the stick there. And it'll break, break that one up. And go Gilbert getting a stick on the shot. The well, uh, Medfield Warriors, they have a number of guys on their roster. I could put it in the net. Team leaders, the captain, Sean McTavish, with seven goals on the season. Actually, he's second behind assistant captain Mike Tyre, who has eight. Racing up the near side, McAuliffe looking for a shot here, turned away. Junta with another big save. Saparoshitz with the pass over to the far side. There's Glyden. And we've got a whistle here. Good Just look there, up. too. McAuliffe, he almost had that top corner. Just able to get his shoulder on that one for a stop. Good shot there by McCall, too, to start that sequence. 3.44 left to go in the first period. 1-0 Medfield. Quinlan up against Wilder. Seeing a lot of the uh, Quinlan McAuliffe line so far in this first period. Coming up the far side tire. You think uh, perhaps Coach McPherson resting uh, Walsh and Samos for later on? <laughs> I think everybody's going to be tired at the end of this one. They're going to need a full, full all-out effort. Toko flips it up the far side. Around it goes. In the corner is Tyre. Now there's Jarrett. And Jarrett just goes wide to the left. Racing up the far side is Aiden Walsh. And that one is going to force the wrap by Junta. 308 left to go. Warriors will make a change. Dan Kirk in the faceoff circle for the Hillers. Up against Tavish. Here comes Palmer. Turned away by Gilbert. Now with possession, that is Aiden Parker, and now Phil Parker. Towards the far side of Jack Lyons. Aiden Walsh getting in there for the Hillers. Dan Kirk flips it up. Up behind the net it goes. Tracked down by Aiden Parker. Palmer got the stick on it there. Gilbert trying to track it down. He's quickly contested by Phil Parker. Up the far side of Aiden Walsh. There comes Walsh. Good move there. Into the corner it goes, forced to flip it around. Tavish meets up with Rogers. Jarrett was trying to get the pass off there. Stolen away, here comes uh, the Warriors. Shot from the circle, diverted off the stick of Paraki. Back check by Rogers there. And Rogers able to flip it up to the midfield zone while the Hillers make a change. Saparoshitz and Sheamus back out there. And that is going to be wrapped up by Junta. Uh, nice tip by Rogers. Almost caught the goalie off guard. 153 left to go. And the Warriors are going to make a 
Another change. The Hill is having a little trouble in the offensive end, winning the faceoffs and maintaining possession in there. Uh, they want to get some shots on that here. They're going to have to start winning some of the faceoffs. Walsh up against Wilder. There's a shot. A little wide to the right there by Simos. Amos flips around, looking for Sean Walsh there. Sean Walsh somehow got that shot off from behind the net. Great play out front. Seamus over to Sean Walsh. There's a shot turned away by Junta. Jammed up along the near side corner. Seamus. That one went off the skate of Wilder. And Simos trying to sneak it out to Rogers, who was in the slot. Turned up ice by Vachon briefly. Seamus will track it down into the Hiller's zone. He's contested by Wilder. Simos flips it up. He was looking for Sean Walsh there. A little bit too far to the near side it went. Lions with the pass over to Michonne. Good play by Simos. He had to keep that one in. Sean Walsh leaves it out in front. Here comes Wilder up the far side. Wilder turned away by Brand. Brand has certainly been busy in this first period. He's made a couple of incredible saves. Full curl with the puck on the near side. Simos got a stick in there. Simos trying to steal it away from Parker. Flipped up by Lyons. Cam Jarrett gets it over to the far side. I'll tell you, Eric, this is the kind of matchup you want towards the end of the season. This will get you playoff ready. Yeah, it definitely will. You know, good tune up for both the teams. Dan Kirk up against McTavish. And now here's Aiden Walsh with a shot, and it's wrapped up. Tri-Valley League title still on the line here. That's a little more incentive for both of the, both of these teams here. Right. Well, Medfield will uh, really have to have a season low, I think, to not walk away with the uh, large title. Dan Kirk up against Wilder. They actually do have Ashland coming up, so that should be a great matchup Saturday. Yeah, Ashland's got a good club. They, they played really well in that game the other day. That's yeah, really Hopkins and Ashland Medfield in the running for the large title. Up the near side, here's Tyre. Just wide to the right. On the far side, Weinstock, another shot there. That'll do it for the first period, an action-packed first period of play, but it's the Medfield Warriors leading the Hopkinton Hillers one to nothing as we head into the break. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits. And I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness, and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. We are ready for the second period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. A 1-0 lead for Medfield. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call. John Ritz, Joe Frackleton on camera for this evening's action. Sean Walsh up against James Wilder. That was a good uh, back and forth first period. Of course, Medfield got the edge with the lone goal by Wilder, but I think the Hillers played pretty well, Eric, because that shot's turned away. Yeah, they did, and thanks to Brand, they're lucky as they're down only 1-0. Uh, but they definitely got to pick up their play, especially in their end and their breakout. Walsh with the shot, and that was diverted off the stick of Cozzolito. On the far side here, Jarrett puts that just wide to the left. Jammed up along the near side boards. Walsh able to track it down in the corner. Flips it up to Gilbert. Gilbert with a nice shot. And that one is going to force the, I think he was trying to get the wrap on it, but couldn't. Walsh along the far side corner. 
And our Warrior lost their stick as that one is knocked out of play off the netting. That's a great, great, great first shift for that uh, first line to come out and uh, put some pressure on right off the bat. Dan Kirk up against Wilder. That shot wide to the right off the stick of Weinstock. Aiden Walsh gets the hit on it. Kirk trying to track it down along the corner. It's taken by McTavish. On the far side. Warriors trying to clear the zone. Aiden Walsh trying to meet up with Lyons. Pass by McTavish. Actually, here comes McTavish up the near side, and he was looking for somebody in the slot. And here comes Aiden Walsh. Miller is quick to get it back in the midfield zone as Walsh gets a shot off, forcing the wrap by Junta. 13-29 left to go in the second period, minute and a half into action. And Hillers, pretty good pressure to start off this second frame. Walsh up against Caravan. Behind the net, Cazzolito. Pass over to the near side. He was looking for Karaki. And now here comes Caravan looking for a shot here. Turned away by Brand. Still up behind the net. Quinlan trying to clear it away. Sheamus up to Jarrett. Jarrett just misses McAuliffe. Gilbert gets the stick on it. Cazzolito tracks it down, meets up with McAuliffe. Toko with the backhander. He's unable to hang on as he was contested. Wilder racing up. He's turned away by Sheamus and Gilbert. Sheamus puts it up towards Toko. Toko gonna put it back to the near side. Gonna find Sheamus. And Sheamus meeting up with Wilder as they battle along the near side corner. Sheamus pops it off the boards. And Coach McPherson uh, liked that move by Sheamus. Miller is switching things up, getting the first line back out there. They definitely do a better job in their, uh, their four check, pinning uh, Medfield in their own end so far in this period. Walsh up against McTavish. Curl able to get the pass off over to Lyons. Warriors looking for a shot here. Out in front, there's another goal. An assist by the captain, Sean McTavish. Sam Palmer knocks it in, 2-0 Medfield. Yeah, no chance for Brand on that one. That was just a great setup by McTavish. Well, the Warriors got the setup they've been looking for. And it comes a little less than three minutes into the second period. Up along the near side boards. That was the sophomore's fifth goal of the season for Sam Palmer. For McTavish's eighth assist, 15th point. He is now the team leader for Medfield in points. Pass to the slot over to Palmer. He's quickly turned away by Glyden. Up along the near side, Aiden Walsh and Dan Kirk trying to get it out of the jam. Biden picks it up. And that one just passed the reach of Weinstock. That'll draw the icing. Well, again, for the Hillers, key here is just not to get too flustered. It's still only 2 0. They just got to stick with their game, which is a good, hard, fast passing game with a good forecheck, getting those shots on net, protecting that puck in their own end. Walsh up against Caravan. There's another quick shot turned away by Brand. Still out in front. Shot was by uh, Kugelstad. Over to the far side, Rogers. Trying to knock it away, surrounded by Warriors, but able to get it out towards Sheamus. Now Simos with the stick on it. Walsh racing up. Walsh with the backhander. He was looking for Rogers. And Rogers was met up with by McTavish. 
Tracked down by Lyons. Stolen away by Rogers. Rogers along the far side corner. Pass back to Walsh. Trying to set up Simos in the slot. Sheamus. That one nearly deflected in. He's that caught the butt end of the goalie stick. Rogers with the shot. That's a goal. Hiller is right back in the game. Yeah. Kyle Rogers got the opportunity he's been waiting for and put it right in the five hole. Just what we were talking about, Tom. Good forecheck by the Hillers there. They were relentless in midfield's end, not giving up, cycling the puck down low and making that nice pass out front. The goal comes with 10.45 left to go in the second period. That is just what the Hillers needed there. Weinstock knocks it up the far side. Way out of the net there was Junta. Over towards Aiden Walsh. Now here comes Dan Kirk trying to wrap it around. Simos gets the credit with the assist. As Dylan Brand forced to wrap it up. I think Simos just saw Walsh waiting right in front of the net. Yeah, he had his head looking out that way before he got to the puck. He knew right where he was going to go with it. There was a lot of Warriors around. That was a perfect pass by Simos. Dan Kirk up against Wilder. There's a shot wide to the right. It's off the stick of Schofield. Schofield will turn it around. Aiden Walsh racing in. We'll get the shot off, Brand will wrap it up. Quickly approaching was Michonne. Two to one, Medfield leading. 10.04 left to go in the second period. Walsh, Rogers, and Simos out there for the Hillers. Lions, the shot there. Jammed up behind the net. He was looking for a tire in the slot. That shot turned away by Brand. It was off the stick of Palmer. He had the first goal of the game. Or actually, he had the second goal for Medfield of the game. Along the near side, pass over by Palmer. Racing up Lyons. Gilbert against Freeman. Here's Simos. Simos racing up the far side. They'll flip it up and around as Walsh gets there. No one there on the attempt. Pass it over to the slot. Palmer was there for midfield. Sheamus able to get it back to the midfield zone. Tracked down by Cole Curl. There's a shot out in front again, and Rogers was looking for number two. Rogers right there with that rebound. Just couldn't get a hold of it. Well, that might be the strategy for the Hillers. Get Rogers in front of the net. Up the far side, tracked down by O'Leary. Along the near side corner. And uh, head coach Toby Carlo doesn't seem too happy for Medfield right now. The Hill is doing a much better job on the four check this period. McAuliffe with a shot, and that was diverted by Fuglestad. Warriors just uh, loading up the slot, making sure the Hillers don't get another opportunity in front of the net. Glyden gets the stick on it. A number of Warriors around him. And it's taken away by Fuglestad. McAuliffe. Here comes McAuliffe racing up the ice. Got a shot there, a little wide to the right. Fuglestad takes care of it in the far side corner. Gilbert. And that was off the stick of wine stock, wrapped up by Junta. Hill is definitely playing to their strengths now. You dump the puck in and go in strong with that forecheck. And, uh, and almost got a nice shot on that there. Didn't miss the net by too much. It certainly did. According to the scoreboard, it's uh, even on shots on goal, 13 apiece. And Kirk up against Wilder. Here comes Vachon. And now Wilder, and we'll have a whistle. 
We have a penalty here. I think it was just offside. Off yeah. Both his linemen were just a stride ahead of him. Yeah, I believe his shown was offsides. Wilder up against Kirk. 7.46 left to go in the second period. Medfield leading 2-1. to one. It's been an exciting game so far. Nice clean penalty free first half. Racing up the far side, Weinstock. And we have another whistle. Uh, icing is the call there. This is the one area where the Hillers have got to figure out a way to uh, win these defensive faceoffs and get the puck out of their own end. Midfield's getting a lot of extra chances off these faceoff wins that they've had. Dan Kirk up against McTavish. Nice win there. Dan Kirk racing up. Trying to track it down is Aiden Parker. Now behind the net, Lions. Pass over to the far side towards McTavish. And it's wrapped up by Brand as it was quickly approaching. And Kirk showing some good speed there. Pushed the puck right through the other center's legs and was able to get a good break on his own. That's one way to beat him. Walsh, Rogers, and Simos back out there. Clyde and Jared are your defenders. There's a wrister. Just turned away. Parker going off for of Rogers there now. Back to the blue line shot by Lyons. Jammed up along the corner. Trying to wrap it around to the slot, but Simos was there. Here comes Sean Walsh. And just could not get by Eden Parker. Back to the Hiller zone it goes. Glyden will track it down. Now Caravan getting in there. Gilbert, uh, Glyden would pass over to Simos, who then launches it over to Rogers. Rogers looking for a shot. Could not get the stick on it as Caravan got his in there. Along the near side corner, the pass over towards Caravan. Now racing up, it's Paraki. Paraki goes off of Sheamus, then was looking to backhand, and there's a shot turned away by Brand. That last shot off the stick of Fugelstad. Back to the midfield zone it goes as the Hillers make another change. They change out the forward and a defender. Racing up is Fugelstad. Jammed up with Gilbert. Pazolito, long shot as Brand turns it away. Sheamus meets up with Schofield. Brand up behind the net, sets it up for Gilbert, out of the near side of McAuliffe. And now it is back to Toko and taken away by O'Leary. 5.29 and counting left to go in the second period. A little back and forth action these last few minutes. Both teams trying to establish control. Cazalito, pass over to the far side towards Tyre. Tyre places it to Vachon. Sheamus able to track it down, quickly approaching Vachon. That pass was up towards Weinstock. Kirk able to knock it around the net. Back to the near side it goes. Gilbert. Puts it around the boards. Pass over to the far side of Tyre, but Tyre diverted by Sheamus. Warriors trying to establish control. Flipped up by Schofield. Sheamus there for the Hillers. Back to Saperoshitz. Now Sheamus, now Weinstock. Weinstock takes a hit there. Along the near side, Palmer. Here comes Medfield. With the puck, it's McTavish. There's a shot and nearly a goal by Palmer. A good save by Brand. Pass over by Rogers, and I think we have an offside. And we're going to have a penalty here. Maybe a penalty. Looks like Luke Glidden is going to go. Well, that's not what you want if you're the Hillers. Okay, 
4.02 left to go in the second period. Medfield will have the man advantage for the next two minutes. And that is the first period by any team, uh, the first penalty by uh, any team in this game, which is uh, far different than the first time <laughs> these two teams met up. Along the near side, Cozzolito. Racing up tire. Over to Parker. Nice play by Walsh. Walsh trying to track down Casalito. Now Walsh quickly to the near side of track down tire. Simos able to wrap it around. To Parker. Walsh getting in the middle of the action. Walsh up against Caravan. And Caravan able to get it to Palmer. Good kill there by the Hillers for that line. So far, so good. Tracked down by Cozzolito. Cozzolito up the near side. Pass over towards Schofield. Jarrett puts it up the far side boards. Here comes Wilder. Wilder racing up the ice. And he's turned away by Seamus and Jarrett. Pass over to McTavish. That shot diverted by Kirk. And a left circle, there's a shot, and it's wrapped up by Brand. Off the stick of Bichon. Hill has shown some good team speed and forcing Medfield to uh, keep that puck down their own end for most of that kill. 33 seconds left to go on the power play. Yeah, with the way the Hillers were playing there, I almost forgot there was a power play. <laughs> Walsh up against McTavish. Sheamus trying to get it out of the jam behind the net. It's wrapped up with Schofield, and we have a whistle. Door popped open behind them. That could have been disastrous. Walsh up against McTavish. Key win there by Walsh on that faceoff. Certainly was. Here comes Simos. Simos tripped up there as Schofield got in front of him. Approaching 10 seconds left on the power play in favor of Medfield. Here comes Wilder. Wilder up along the far side, meets up with Simos. Walsh trying to steal it away. Simos able to knock it back to the Medfield zone. And the power play has been killed by the Hillers. Walsh to pass over to Sheamus. Sheamus with a shot, and that went off of Wilder. Saparoshitz back to Sheamus. That shot turned away. Rogers tracks it down in the corner. Puts back to Sheamus. Now it's going to be wrapped up by Junta. Well, coming off a good penalty kill there. Hill has gave themselves some momentum, and now they're picking up their offense. Pop one in here with minutes to go. 139 left to go in the second period. Medfield leading two to one. Both teams have scored in this second frame. Medfield leading shots on goal, 17 to 14. Over to the near side, Sam Palmer trying to get it out of the jam. Gilbert pops it to the far side corner. Lions pass up over to Palmer who put it to the far side looking for a tire. But Jarrett is there. Here comes Kirk, he's turned away. Gilbert racing up the near side. Ian Parker tracks it down for Medfield. Pass up over to Caravan. And here comes Palmer looking for a shot. Brand will come out and wrap it up. I'd say that was a good call there by Brand. Yeah, and why is it do that? Uh, Wilder is showing some definite speed on the outside there. 55 seconds left to go in the second period. This has been a fun hockey game so far, Eric. Yeah, both teams, you know, showing their skills off that have come to the records of where they're at. I feel like both teams are at their best tonight. Sheamus puts it up to the near side and getting a stick on it. There's Cozzolito. Wrap around by Sheamus. He's looking for Rogers. It's Saparosha that's picking it up. 
Here comes Saparoshitz. No one along the near side to collect that one. Now Simos, that shot turned away by the goaltender Junta. Michonne also got a stick on it. There's another shot by Weinstock, and Rogers right in front of the net. We'll get a off. whistle. Yeah, I think that's going to be the key to the Hillis here, Tom, is they're getting good shots on net, and the, the goalie's giving up several rebounds. So if they can just have somebody out front plant one of those in. Well, since that power play, the Hillers have gotten some very good shots and have won the possession battle. Walsh up against Tyre. Back to the neutral zone it goes. Tracked down by Saparoshitz. Over to Sheamus. Might be looking for a shot here. What do we got, offsides? Offside, yeah. Can get it out. Yeah, it looked like Parker was crossed just before Tyre came across with the puck. 9.4 seconds left to go in the second period. Gilbert tracks it down. Puck is loose in front of the net and knocked away by Rogers, and that'll do it for the second period. Well, less than three minutes in, it was Sam Palmer scoring a goal off a Sean McTavish assist for Medfield with 12.14 left. And then uh, less than two minutes later, about a minute and a half later, 10.45 left, Kyle Rogers puts it in off an assist for Steve Simos. And as we wrap up the second period, it's Medfield two, Hopkinton one, Third period coming up next, and I have a feeling it's going to be a good one. So you're going to want to stick around. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Aylers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. We are ready for the third period between the Medfield Warriors and the Hopkinton Hillers. And this has been a great hockey game so far. Medfield leading two to one, but Eric, as you said, heading into the break, it's still anybody's game. Yeah, and uh, it seems like the Hillers have really gained a lot of momentum after that penalty kill here, so we need to keep that going right into this period, see if we can get a tie quickly. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call, John Ritz, Joe Frackleton on camera. And it's been a pretty evenly matched game, 17 to 16 in shots on goal in favor of Medfield, and we are underway in the final frame. Schofield along the near side, pass over to Cosolito. And now trying to race into Simos. Turned away by Schofield. Just got past Cosolito. Walsh trying to rip it away. Off the stick of Rogers over to Tyre. Walsh places it for Simos. Simos back to Walsh. Here's Walsh. Backhander turned away. Now Simos. Gets it over to the far side of Gilbert. We'll wrap it around the boards. Walsh along the near side. Gets tied up with Tyre. Now racing down is Wilder, but a big check there by Gilbert. Gilbert's had a good defensive game today. He's made a lot of key breakups. Certainly has, as Rogers flips that one up. Glyden gets in there. And there's a big hit by Kirk. Aiden Walsh over to Kirk. Kirk nearly had a nice shot there. Backhander turned away. Here comes the Warriors as McTavish comes away with it up the near side. McTavish wide to the right on that one. Pass up the boards by Parker. Jammed up along the corner. Glyden able to get it out. Now along the near side. It's jammed up along the boards. We get a whistle. Hill is going to go on the power play here. Big opportunity for Hopkinton as Jack Lyons heads to the box. Up 
What did we have there, Eric? Uh, interference. He took, uh, I couldn't see which one of the hill is there, but he hit him from behind before the puck even got up to it. Well, I think if uh, you're the Hillers, this is where you gotta score. Walsh up against Wilder. Walsh pass over to Gilbert. Gilbert with a shot out in front. Rogers nearly popped it in. Walsh with another shot turned away by a defender. Schofield got in front of it. Sheamus off of Juta. And that puck was loose, almost went in. And that was Cazalito who got the stick on it and was able to get the puck away. Did that cross the line? You think that uh, was very no, close? I don't think it went across. It was headed there, but just slowed down enough. Uh, that, you know, Hillers were just tenacious here, getting a lot of rebounds. Unfortunately, a couple blocks in front there. We need, we need a uh, it's a replay of that one. <laughs> that was played with a high stick for the Hillers. Yeah, it would come down to their end. Walsh up against McTavish. 151 left to go on the power play. Can the Hillers take advantage? Sheamus over to the near side, no one there. Here comes uh, McTavish. To go back a little bit and was trying to find Parker in the neutral zone. Sean Walsh over to Sheamus. Sheamus puts it right back into the midfield zone. Walsh gets in there. Rogers with possession. Pops it over to Walsh. Walsh back to Gilbert. Gilbert with a nice shot, glove save, Juta. Well, Hill is getting some great chances here. Medfield's not really attacking them. They're letting them move the puck around the periphery there. And Hill is setting up some pretty good shots. 101 left to go on the power play. 12-27 left to go in the game. Medfield leading two to one. Walsh up against Tyre. Gets it out just past the reach of Gilbert. Gilbert able to track it down before Palmer got there. Now back to Sean Walsh. Here comes Walsh looking for a shot and rips it across towards Simos. Simos rips it back. Sheamus, we're gonna have a whistle here. Yeah, looks like uh, Walsh is gonna go. He really should be calling both of them on that one. Well, that's unfortunate if you're the Hillers. You had the man advantage. Now it's gonna be back to even strength. Unfortunately, the uh, retaliatory one is the one that got seen, not the first one. <laughs> well, a rough break there. So it'll be even strength for 44 seconds, and then Medfield will have the man advantage for a minute 16. Kirk tripped up. Here comes Weinstock. Weinstock up the near side. Up against Schofield. Over towards Kirk along the far side. Poked out by Palmer for Medfield. Palmer trying to get around Weinstock. Weinstock says, not in my house. Schofield up against Kirk. Pass over to Casalito. Shot wide to the left by Palmer. Well, now we're starting to see uh, the pe a penalty situation similar yeah, to what we saw the first time as Kirk uh, gets the shot off there. Yeah, both teams picking up the intensity. Here comes McTavish. And now racing up his caravan, looking for a shot, turned away by Brand. Saparoshitz. Hill is on the kill now. Minute left for Medfield to have a man advantage. Freeman gets in there, pass over to McTavish. He's jammed up behind the net. Glyden uh, able to kick it out. Well, if you don't have a stick, use the skates, yeah, right? Good play by Luke. He had the stick knocked out of his hands. They will improvise there. Killers make a change. And that puck is loose, but <laughs> Simons didn't have a stick, so he'll yeah, kick it. He had a stick pulled right out there. A little soccer action. Jammed up behind the net, Rogers. Now racing up the far side, Wilder. Gilbert with the pass over to the near side. No one there. This third period, I think, is going to continue to get more and more physical. Get another uh, whistle here off sides. 
Three seconds left on the midfield power play. Rogers up against McTavish. And the power play is killed. Walsh comes firing out of the box. Cazzolito with the pass over the far side out of the reach of McTavish. Cazzolito with possession along the far side. Gets it over to Schofield. Schofield pops it off the boards. Gilbert gets the stick on it. There's Cazzolito. Pass up to Palmer. He couldn't find it for a moment. Popped off the near side boards by Sheamus. That field having a bit of trouble clearing their zone. Simos to Walsh. Shot. Turn away by Juta. Great opportunity there. Lyon was trying to put it back towards the slot. Walsh trying to turn it around once again. Warriors loading up the slot to make sure the Hillers can't get that man in front of the net. The Hillers really seem to do a good job of picking up their intensity right after a kill here. They spent most of this uh, period down at midfield's end. We'll have another face off in the midfield end. Kirk pass back over to Jarrett. And now Glein gets a stick on it out in front and wrapped up by Junta. Good face-off win there by Kirk. The Hill is doing a much better job on the face-offs in the last period and a half. Kirk up against Wilder. Hiller fans starting to make some noise. 9.05 left to go in the third period. Medfield leading 2-1. Leiden. Just misses Weinstock. That'll draw the icing. Face off in the Hiller zone as they'll change things up a little bit. Out in front, Toko. There's a shot there, wrapped up by Brand. That was off the stick of Paraki. Hill has got to be careful with their passing. I want to give Medfield an opportunity here to put it up by two. To try to go off the boards with that one. And the official uh, checking on uh, Dylan Brand, I think, to make sure he's okay. I think that hit him in the chest. Probably a little winded. Gilbert puts it over towards Kirk. Now Quinlan was trying to break away with it. Saparoshitz along the near side. Jammed up along the boards, but Toko able to get it out. Now here comes Quinlan looking for a shot, and it is going to be turned away by Junta. I think he got a little more height on that shot than he wanted to. Toko able to get it out. Quinlan. Now. Over to the far side it goes, Clyden gets a stick on it, puts it right back into the midfield zone. Glyden, pass over to the near side, no one there. Turned away by Cole Curl. Walsh and Simos back out there, glove saved Junta off the stick of Glyden. A good hard shot there with Walsh cutting towards the net. Put a little screen up. Get some mustard on that one. All ship against Wilder. Jammed up along the far side. Here comes Walsh. It's stolen away. Pass up by Parker and now racing in. Out in front. And Brand shipped up the net, came out. And McTavish racing up, getting the shot off. Off on the Hiller's end, 7.38 left to go. Biden jammed up on the near side corner with McTavish. Puts it over towards Simos. Pass up, and now Schofield nearly gets to it. There he goes, Rogers closing in. 
Simos. Sheamus wraps it around. Rogers tripped up by Schofield. Simos along the corner. Now breaking away with it is a warrior. Looking for a shot here, and he's tripped up. Phil Parker broke away briefly. In the high slot, turned away by Glyden off the stick of a show. Over near side lines. Now here comes Sean Walsh, quickly approaching, and it is wrapped up by Juta. Walsh just losing the handle at the last minute. If he hung, if he hung on to uh, the handle for maybe another millisecond, that would have went right through the five hole. 6.45 left to go. Kirk up against Wilder. Hiller's trailing by one, but putting the pressure on. Along the near side. There's Kirk for Gilbert. Wraps it around. Weinstock closing in. Flipped up by Tyre. And Vachon was trying to establish possession. We get a whistle off sides. We'll have a face off at the neutral zone. Miller's going to switch things up. Toko, Quinlan, and McAuliffe back out there. Field leading two to one. Hiller is now uh, winning the shots on goal battle, 24 to 20. And I think the officials discussing where the faceoff should be. Quinlan up against Vachon. Jarrett tracks it down. Up towards McAuliffe on the far side, Cazzolito. That just misses the net. Over to Schofield. Big hit along the near side by Toko, delivered on the little side. I think they're hitting the wire when you hit the zoom. Back down by Jarrett. He'll turn it around towards Gilbert. Flips it up towards the neutral zone. Cole Curl. Gets it over to the near side of Lions. Back to Curl. Racing up the far side, it's Schofield. Gilbert puts it back at the boards. Shot there. A little wide by Curl. Jammed up in front of the net. And nicely done by Jarrett. Well, that was a little dangerous there. Yep, Brand came up big with another save there. Clyden is trying to get the stick on it. Pass up by McTavish. On the far side, there's a shot turned away by Brand. That was off the stick of Palmer. Less than five minutes left to go in the third period. Hiller's trailing by one. Rogers. No one was there for the Hillers. Turned away by Schofield. On the near side, Walsh. Here comes Walsh. Racing up the far side along with Weinstock. Puts it wide to the right. Saparosha to pass over to Glyden. Out in front, turned away by Junta. Now along the far side boards towards Caravan. Now, here comes Tyre. Tyre looking for a shot, and... Off the post. That was clo as close as it gets without going in. On the near side. I didn't hear the uh, typical... Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a clink. It yeah. was, uh, sounded like a uh, That's piece of wood sure on the post there. <laughs> Turned away by Schofield. Here comes Wilder. Wilder towards the near side, meets up briefly Weinstock. Weinstock gets in there, trying to box him out. 
And Sheamus able to knock it up the ice. Approaching three and a half minutes left to go in regulation. Gilbert gets a stick on it towards Kirk. And there's a stick uh, along the far side, so someone lost their stick. Sheamus wraps it around. Uh, it's gonna be icing here, I don't know, I think he had the red line. I think we might have been just in the back of it. Well, the Hill is with a real good showing here, especially down one of their top offensive you know, linemen with uh, Hamlet out there. But they're still putting on a good show here. Walsh up against McTavish. Been a great hockey game between these two top TVL teams. Along the far side, Wilder. Looking for a shot, turned away by Brand, and out of play it goes. 2.57 left to go in the third period. Medfield up 2-1. to one. Hiller's leading in shots on goal, 25-23. to 23. Can Medfield hang on? Walsh up against McTavish. There's a shot turned away. Here comes Walsh off the steal. He's looking for Simos. So now Rogers up the far side, and he meets up with Palmer. Up behind the net now. Pass over to the near side. Pass up by Parker. And back to the Hiller zone it goes. It'll draw the whistle. Clock stopped at 2.32. We'll have a face off in the midfield end. Out there for the Hillers, Walsh, Rogers, Simos, Jarrett, and Saperosians. Simos got the shot off. Slow roller that Junta turns away. And we will have another icing. Hill is doing a real good job now with the faceoffs, uh, getting some pressure and sustaining it down in midfield's end and able to win those, keep the opportunity down here. I think I see some Ashland coaches over there doing a little scouting. <laughs> they take on midfield coming up. Walsh with a shot, and Juta nearly had it wrapped up and now will wrap it up. Hiller is putting the pressure on, giving Medfield all they can handle. And what do we have here? A little warning, perhaps? Walsh up against Wilder. The official has some words for Sean Walsh. I don't think these two teams like each other very much, Eric. <laughs> no, I can attest to that from past experience when I was coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Pass up to the neutral zone. Here comes Vachon. And he's diverted by Rogers. Simos gets in there. Here comes Rogers. Rogers and Walsh. Walsh racing up the far side. Here he comes, the backhander, and it's just turned away. Ella's going to go on the power play here, Tom, with a minute 55 left. Do we have a hooking? I don't know if you got a little hook or a slash. I thought I might have saw a little hook there. Well, this is your opportunity. A minute 55 left in the game, though, so it'll be a minute 55 long power play. Both teams had 20 points coming into tonight's game. We do have a timeout on the ice. Coach McPherson wants to talk things over. A minute 55 left to go. Medfield leading two to one. Hiller is leading in shots on goal, 28 to 23. And Eric, this has been a highly entertaining game tonight. Yeah, yeah you can see just both teams, you know, with everything that's on the line tonight, uh, both teams have really picked up their play. They certainly have. Well, you have a moment. We'll take you through the TVL standings. 
And as usual, uh, a lot of great teams in the TVL. And there's been a whole lot of ties this season as well. You got Medway at 6, 8, and 2. Ashland 9, 3, and 3. Medfield 8, 0, oh, and 4. Norwood 4, 3, and 5. Norton 1, 10, and 2. Hopkinton 9, 3, and 2. Bellingham 4, 8, and 2. Holliston 1, 10, and 3. Dover Sherborne Weston 4, 6, and 2. Westwood 6, 1, and 5. And Dedham 7, 5, and 2. Westwood five ties. That's unbelievable. <laughs> So pretty much your TVL large is between uh, Medfield, Westwood, Hopkinton, and, a and Ashland. Medfield uh, right now with the lead in the TVL large. The Warriors trying to argue for a delay of game there. I don't think they're going to win that one. Well, the face off in the Medfield zone. The Hillers have the man advantage for the remainder of this game. A minute 55 left. Jarrett. Up the boards to Simos. Back to Jarrett. And a cross over to Gilbert. Pull over the wall. Somebody has to get off the ice. I pulled the goalie, Tom. Oh. <laughs> Walsh to Jarrett. Out in front. So the Hiller's really going to have the two-man advantage as the net comes dislodged once again. Yeah, almost good look there. He had him cut into the net. Do you think they should pull the goalie Back this early? Bronson. I was a little uh, surprised by that. Yeah, it's, it's tough because, you know, Medfield's got the advantage. They can shoot for the net and not have icing with a man down. Face off in the neutral zone. And I think the goalie's going to come back out for this. Walsh up against Tyre. Jarrett behind the net. Leaves it for Walsh. Here comes Walsh up the near side over to Gilbert. Gilbert around the boards. Hillers pull the goalie once again. They add Dan Kirk. And there's a shot, and it is wide to the right by Tyre. Gilbert tracks it down. Less than a minute left to go in this game. Here comes Simos. Walsh racing in. Trying to feed it across. Rogers back to Walsh. Walsh with a shot, and it is in front of the net still, and nearly poked in by Kirk. Junta with some good goaltending there. Simos. Kirk, over to Gilbert, and that shot gonna roll wide to the left by Tyre. Hill is gonna hurry here, they gotta turn and go. 25 seconds left to go. Jarrett with the pass up the far side. Simos to Walsh. Here comes Walsh now, Rogers. Simos leaves it across to Gilbert. Another backhander there for Medfield. Simos in the chase down against McTavish. Able to turn it up ice. And there's a shot by Cozzolito off the skate of Simos, and that'll do it. Well, the Hillers had a two-man advantage working in midfield zone, but unable to net a goal. And we have a scoreless third period, which results in a 2-1 to -one midfield victory. Midfield improves to 9-0-4 on the season. The Hillers fall to 9-4-2. Eric, it was a... Tough loss for the Hillers, but a well-played game Tough out there loss. today. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, not having Hamlet there definitely hurt them a little bit offensively, but uh, they played a great game. They had some chances, and uh, they had every opportunity to, to get the win. They just pucked it and fall their way tonight. Well, coming up next for the Hillers, will be at Dedham this coming Saturday, and then senior night against Westwood next Wednesday. We'll certainly have that game for you right here on HCAM. For Joe Frackleton and John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner Eric Party. I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time. Medfield takes down Hopkinton by a final score of 2 to 1. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon.